and it looks like we are live. So, hey everybody again, I am Lewis, and today we are continuing our modeling of our components for our PPEcom version 0.4. Uh, so, yesterday we got most of the components built, um, and those components are on the screen. So we have our receiver, we got this speaker module from online that works perfect for what we have. We have this uh, amplifier, uh, we have a transformer, and uh, we also have a microphone we didn't import yet. We're going to have to bring the microphone unit in, and the last thing that we need to model is this uh, transmitter piece. So today what we are going to do is we are first going to model the transmitter and then what we're going to do is we are going to um, take some texture photos. So we have our, our overhead camera already mounted um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put our circuit boards back in a view of what you can see and uh, from there what we are going to do is make it so that we can create textures of uh, basically these circuit boards. Uh, so what we are going to do now is we're going to get rid of these for now. We're going to hide them and we are going to just model this new object. So let's select all of these things and we are going to hide them. Okay, so we've hidden those things. So now let's build our circuit board. Uh, okay, so we'll turn on our caliper, zero that thing out. Let's just get our measurement of this board. So our measurement of the board is, we're going to call that 17.6 millimeters. this so we got 17.6 and our up and down on this thing is going to be we don't want to get the ESP we don't get that so we're gonna call that 43.22 let's call it 25 just to be safe so 43.25. Oh, changed the wrong one there. So 43.25 millimeters. Okay. So there we go. And we're gonna center this thing up. And center. Okay. So that's centered. We have our very basic board shape. Uh, next, we are gonna we're gonna call this top, and we'll call the side bottom. Um, let's just get a very basic size of our USB. So our USB is nine millimeters by call it seven point. Seven point five. So we're going to model that. Let's just make a quick rectangle for our USB. We'll put that on there. So let's just uh, call it a width of. We said nine millimeters, and we'll call this seven point five millimeters. Let me just make sure that we're right with that nine millimeters and our yeah and then our up and down on this thing for our extrusion is three millimeters so let's give that an extrusion of three millimeters okay we're going to call this USB-C and we also need to extrude our circuit board our circuit board is one millimeter in extrusion. So here comes our extrusion on that circuit board. So I 
let's extrude and we'll give that one millimeter okay and now let's take our USB-C and we'll figure out what distance is here for where it is um, it's 3.84 from that side and 3.84 from that side so we're just going to actually center it because it is centered so we're going to use our align tool and we get centered and we're going to bring it down this way and we're actually going to bring it up on the y-axis so that we can seat it on the board and let's see how much extrusion do we have from the edge of this board it's looking like we have it one millimeter sitting out so let's uh let's build ourselves a little measure so i like to a rectangle and there and let's call this one millimeter okay and then we will move this north and we're going to take actually we're going to bring it back south because we need to measure it there okay and then the trailing edge of that comes to one millimeter standing out okay so that's looking good now we are going to model our battery again these are just really rough models because all we need to do is figure out how to put this into our case it's an interesting white residue on the outside of this battery probably from uh, that's from the case it came in okay not to worry so the width of this battery is Looks like the width of the battery is fourteen point eight six millimeters. So we're just gonna put that and let's do this so we get a quick fourteen point oh fourteen point eight five. Okay, and now we are going to model how deep it is. And we'll call that twenty three point seven five, twenty three point seven five millimeters. Okay. And let's give ourselves a depth on this thing. What we're going to do is we're just going to take the depth of everything and we'll subtract one millimeter off of it. So it is 4.8, so we'll call it 3.8 millimeters in depth. So we're going to extrude that. So we have extrusion, and we'll call it 3.8. And let's sit this on top of our board as well. And we need to position it. And our position, we're going to do it from the top of the board. So our position from the top of the board is approximately 11 and a half millimeters. So let's draw ourselves an 11 and a half millimeter box up here. And let's that there we go so 11.5 millimeters and we're going to bring this down and we'll bring our battery down to match okay and I think that our positioning um, horizontally is going to be we're going to center it We're not going to center it on the y-axis or on the z-axis. We're just positioning it on the x-axis. Okay, so there we go. We got that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build the other side of this with our buttons. So let me uh, go to there. Flip that over. We have a transmitter over there. Okay, so we have this. And we're going to import one of our 
SM surface mounted buttons. Actually, let's just flip this thing over. So we're, oh, let me rename it. Uh, so let's name this. We're going to name that a PCB. And we're going to name this battery. Okay. And let's just group these things together for now. So grouping that, we'll call this transmitter. Okay. And let's flip this thing over. This is a little bit different than we were doing it last time. That works. Oops, so we flipped it 180. And let's bring this down in 3D space. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Let's bring it from the let's see, let's see, axis. That's not the axis I want to do either. Okay, so we're going to take this. You know what? We'll just leave it there. That's fine. We'll just move things up to match. Okay. So the next thing we are going to do is let's give ourselves our button. So let's just import a button. So we're going to import, import, and we're going to take our smallest, so a three point uh, four point three millimeter button, and we're going to flatten it for sure. Here it comes in a second. <coughs> And we're going to call this, because it looks like it already has a name, uh, we're going to call it um, transmitter button. Okay, so we have transmitter button. So here is our editable mesh. And let's um, first we've got to place it, and we also need to measure it. And it looks like it's a bit big compared to what our actual button is on here. So our button on here is. 3.25 millimeters by 3.3. Uh, so we'll call 3.3 by 3.3. So let's create a, uh, a template for that. So we are going to make a rectangle. A rectangle is going to be 3.3. So we got this. So let's go 3.3 by 3.3. Okay, so that is the size of what our button needs to be. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this one and we're going to center it to this. We're going to center all of our positions. And then we are just going to we're going to manually scale this just for the time being. So let's bring that down and we're going to get rid of this so we can actually scale it properly. That looks pretty good. Okay. And the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out how tall this button is. So that button is really small. We're going to just kind of see. You know what? You can't really measure it. We're just going to call it a millimeter in height. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, we're going to freeze what we're going to do. Here we go. Okay. So we're going to take this. We're going to bring that up. Delete that. And we're going to get a rectangle, we're going to draw from the bottom to the top, and we're going to call this one millimeter. Okay, so we've got one millimeter, and what we're going to do is we are going to take this and bring it down to there, and then we're going to just scale squish. Okay, so we scale squished down, and the next thing we are going to do. Let's take that outline, okay, let's just take this, move it away, get rid of that, delete, delete, delete. Okay, so now we need to figure out where to place it on our board. I like to do things from the bottom right hand corner. So actually this one looks like we're going to do it from the bottom left hand corner because there's things in the way on the bottom right hand corner. So it looks like 11 millimeters by... Seven. 11 by 7. So let's draw this. Do, 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 do. And we'll call this 11. We'll call that 7. So let's take that and we're going to bring this down here. And you snappy snap snap there. And then you're going to snappity snap snap there. And you are going to snap over here. And you're 
going to snap down like this. So there we go. Those are snapped. We have to delete that. And we also need to bring our button down to the surface of our object. Uh, so we are going to take this bottom corner and oh, we're dragging it the wrong way. So on our y axis, make sure we've locked it. Okay. So looks like that is the one thing that we need to have tactile on this board. Okay, so that is looking good. Um, what else should we model on this chip, if anything? That might be enough. So I'm going to actually, so what we're going to do is we are going to group, and we are going to take that, take that, we're going to go to group, we're going to go to attach. Actually, I think I just drag this into this group. No, I can't do that. Um, transmitter in there. Can I just attach it? Remember how to bring this in here. So just click attach and then do I drag it? No. Yeah, okay, that worked. Okay. So we're going to save this. Okay, so now the last thing we're going to do is bring in our microphone. Let's make sure we have that. This is importing. To check for scale. Okay, so we have an error. Man, that means it didn't come in. Um, so, what we're going to do now is going to go back online and see if we can find that part. So we're going to move this so we can actually see it. And what we are looking for is a max and we want a 3D model of this thing. Seeing if we can just find a 3D model, the same happened to build it.
here and see if we find anything. So let's just do this. Let's do uh, microphone module. Now we have the Max 4466. That's a very similar module. I think it might actually be identical in size. You know what we're going to take out? Let's, let's take a look at them side by side and see if they are the same size. And if they are the same size, we are just going to use that model instead. Nope, they are not the same size. It was a good try. But... It might be close enough that I can just modify it instead of having to rebuild it. Yeah, they are the same width, they are just not the same depth. So, that is helpful. We're going to just download this module. So we're going to get a step file. We're going to download this. Okay. So that's saving. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to import that now. Let's import and that is the max 4466. And you know they have they have different configuration of pieces on the back, but it's fine because it doesn't really matter as much. So let's get the depth of this thing. So we're gonna zero our caliper and the depth of this unit is 25.34. We'll call it 25.35 just to be safe. Okay, so there's a lot of pieces here. So what we're going to do before we do anything else is we are going to isolate it so we can work on just that model. So hide our transmitter. Hit the transmitter, and now we have just our model of our speaker. I mean, I'm sorry, microphone, which is nice to have. So we are going to rotate this by 90 degrees. Oh, let's turn on snapping. So we turned on snapping. So we'll go back to 90 degrees. Okay, there's 90 degrees. Um, also, let's center this thing up. Centering actually doesn't matter that much with this model. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to remove these pins. So, remove. Hey, next Batman, I think I know who you are. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so now what we are doing is we are modifying this 3D model of this, which is the Max 4466, and we are modifying it so that we can actually use the same 3D model for this microphone unit, which is the uh, Max uh, 9814. So the difference is this has auto gain on it. This one does not have auto gain. Um, you'll never tell. That's what you say now. But anyway, that's not a threat. Um, so here we go. The depth of this object needs to be 25.35 millimeters. So we are going to do that here. So 25.35 millimeters. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to snap this down to our bottom corner of this model. So we have a corner piece. There we go. That's lined up. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to modify this structure to match this depth. So we're going to grab these points and we're going to just gently, ever so gently pull them up. So we can match this up. I'm going to bring this back down, and we need to snap this corner point here. So we pull that up. Okay. So now uh, this unit works for what we need for this one. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to deselect that. And we're going to delete, delete that. Let's take a look at the bottom of this unit. 
Yeah, um, we do have extra holes in this one, but that really doesn't matter for what we're doing in this. We're not setting out a blueprint. What we're really doing is we're just building a case for this. So we can actually delete some of these extraneous things that have extra geometry. Uh, it really doesn't matter, to be honest. So I'm going to leave some of it. Okay, so I'm just going to group these together. So these are all grouped, and we are going to group, and we're going to call you microphone. Okay, so now let's take a look at all the components we have, and we're going to then add some photos of our uh, boards so we can have some textures to these things. So let's just let's get all these unhidden. So we're going to select all the children. Ah, we've opened all the nodes. Select all the children. And we've unhid. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take our microphone. And we're going to get our transmitter. So here is our microphone as a transmitter. Here's our microphone. And we're going to put that up here. And let's take this that okay so now we have all of our components that we need for building our system so we have just to identify these things just so we can go over it again we have our microphone module right here we have our transmitter module right there we have our speaker we have our receiver we have our amplifier and we have our transformer so uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to just take some pictures from our overhead camera so that we can make some textures. Uh, the other thing we need to do is we need to desolder some of these parts because we don't need all of them. Um, so before we do anything, before I desolder anything, we're just going to take some photos of these boards because um, that seems like the first place to start. Uh, and let's see, I'm missing a transformer. Do, do, do Autobots. Nope, different type of transformer. Anyway, those are jokes for me. Um, I'm also just kind of rambling because that's part of what's happening on Twitch is just gonna ramble. I'm not twitching, I'm rambling. Ha! Huh, you get all my bad jokes. Anyway, okay. So, I wanna try and get this so it's just seated right. It's good enough. something to balance. Good enough. We're not going for perfect, we're just going for good enough. like tech ASMR yeah it is so I can talk like this and this is the next thing we're going to do I think you should lean a little closer into your microphone or into your speaker and next what we're going to do is we're going to scan these photos so here we go I'm sorry I'm not gonna do that anymore um okay so okay it looks like our overhead camera is a skew that down and I wonder if I should just use my cell phone to do this I would probably uh, the thing is if I do this I'm gonna disable my overhead view that's fine let's do that let's just uh, turn off the overhead camera oh my god look at that you have a full desktop anyway um what if I turn this one on no. ha huh, there we go okay so we have our overhead camera of our objects and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maximize this. I'm just going to take a screenshot because that's good enough for what we're doing. So let me take that and let me make sure this is actually in focus. That's out of focus. That's more focused. Okay, so uh, let me turn off this thing that says title. Okay, and here comes a screenshot. Let's 
screen chatted. Okay, let's make sure that screen chat actually took. Give me one second to, to check my screenshots. Huzzah, my screenshot worked. Okay, and now what you're going to do is we're going to flip these boards over and take a screenshot of this side of them. So let's uh, straighten that out. Okay. And I feel like this on the side is out of focus. Yeah, it's good enough for our purposes. So here comes another screenshot. Okay. Let me make sure that we got that screenshot as well. So always verify that you got your asset. Okay, got both of those. And the last thing we need to screenshot is we need to get a screenshot of both sides of our receiver board. But I do want to take these components off because we're not going to use them. But I guess in the meantime, I can just take our screenshots. So we got that screenshot. And let's flip over to this side. Let's just prop this up. Just like our economy it is being propped up at the moment. It's not a political show, don't worry. Okay, so screenshot. All right, so now we have the joy of getting these files onto our other computer because. Uh, they currently are living not on the computer that we are using for our 3D modeling. So how am I going to do that is a great question. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that computer for a moment. I'm not going to turn it off. I'm just going to disable my connection. I'm going to reconfigure so we have a shared drive. So here comes my disconnect, OK, and we're going to go into our settings here. And we are going to add a shared folder. And our shared folder on this is going to be a new folder we put on the desktop, and we're going to call it shared. OK, we're going to open that up. We're going to save this and we're going to connect. And we are reconnected. So let's reconnect to there. Okay. And we should have a folder on here that is connected with our, uh, should have a network drive called shared. Look at that. We do. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do there. Is I'm going to go back to my other computer. I'm going to take my screenshots. I'm going to copy those into my new shared folder, which is something you're not seeing. So those are copied. Let's refresh this. Okay, so we have those, and I believe I should have GIMP on this computer. Okay, we have GIMP. So I'm opening up GIMP. GIMP is a free Photoshop alternative. I much prefer GIMP to Photoshop because it is free. And it's open source, which means I can sniff, sniff around the code and I can do things with it. It also means I can write custom plugins. I uh, probably could do it with Photoshop, but never took the time. Always done it with GIMP. So we are opening up GIMP. Um, that's loading up on our computer. And we're going to take this window and we're going to shrink it down a bit. And let's see, is GIMP doing anything? I don't see it, but I'm sure it's doing something. Come on, Gimp. Oh, we're 
we're just waiting for GIMP to load. Some more details, let's make sure GIMP is actually doing something. Come on, GIMP, do your thing. Okay. Okay, so GIMP is doing something. There we go, GIMP 2.1. All right, so we got our GIMP program loaded up, and what we're going to do now is we are going to make a single file for all of our textures just because we can. Um, so let us. Now we're just going to make a new file. We're going to import all those other textures into it. So file new. And let's make this a standard file size of uh, 2048 by 2048. That should be, is that plenty of size for all those models? Yeah, that should be, pro uh, let's make a 4K texture. So that should be uh, 496 by 4096. That's fine. So let's, let's make that file size instead. And we are going to import each one of those uh, layers as a layer, or one of those images as a layer. And we're just going to drag them in. So those are coming in. All right, look at that. We have we got plenty of space in this document for all these textures. I think it might actually be overkill. Um, so we are going to reduce down this file. So instead of scaling the image, what we're just going to do is we're just going to change the canvas size. Uh, so we're going to call it 2048 by 2048, which is where I landed originally in my mind with this project. We're going to center it and resize. Okay, that's feeling a little better. So what we're going to do from here is we are going to just come in here and do a quick, quick cleanup of these different models. These different textures. So let's just uh, select, 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 and select. And just for shits and giggles. Okay, let's inverse select. Select invert. Okay. Um, oh, it looks like this layer doesn't have an alpha, so we're going to add an alpha channel. We're going to add an alpha channel to all of these so that we actually can have some transparency. Things are good with transparency. Oh, no, we did something wrong. Uh, so let's select all this black here. Okay, delete. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it up in this corner. Okay. And we're going to take this and we're going to delete, delete, delete around. So we have select all of that. And let's do a select invert. And delete. Okay. We need to, let's pick the layer and move the active layer. Okay. So we have those two things. We're going to put them up in this corner just for the sake of it. Okay. Da, da, da. And we're going to clean up these textures once we actually have everything cut out. And the next thing we want to cut out is all of these things. Ah, don't do that. Okay. Deselect, okay, and selection, and we're going to invert select, select, invert, and delete. And let's drag these things over here. And just for the sake of it, we're going to hide that layer for now so we can carve this out quickly. And 
select and invert and delete. Okay, and we can reinitiate this layer. It looks like this might even be more space than we need. Yeah, it's way more space than we need for all these textures. Okay, so what are we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna call Ghostbusters. No, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna break these up into even smaller pieces. Um, so we're going to take this. So let's separate the amplifiers out. Uh, I'm just going to cut it and we'll paste it. Something went wrong here. Oh, on the wrong layer. So cut and paste. And we're going to pull that over here. And we're going to make a new layer. And we'll call it the amp top. And we're going to grab this, cut, paste, new layer, amp bottom. Okay. And, you know, I think we can actually just take these two layers and we're going to merge them. No, we're not going to do that because we still need to rotate things. Okay, um, so next we're going to take, that's the bottom one, okay, we're going to actually swap these around because they're confusing. Okay, so we're going to take this, cut that out, and we're going to call this mic top. And we need to cut out the bottom, call my bottom. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. I will try and answer them verbally when I take a look over at my other screen. Okay, so we have my bottom. Uh, next thing we are going to do is we are going to cut out our transformer. Uh, our top. And we're gonna go there and do our transform bottom. Okay. We are moving this over. Here. Okay. And then the last thing we can do is we don't really need to cut these out. All we need to do is select invert and delete. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Select. And we select invert and delete. Okay. So we have, they're looking like all of our pieces here. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna straighten these up so that we can easily apply these textures to our geometry because I really don't wanna to have to do some custom UV mapping on our objects uh, in 3 Studio Max. I really would just rather put a straight um, box texture on them and let them do their thing by themselves. So, what we are going to do is uh, straighten these textures out. So I guess we're going to start with this one. And what we're going to do, we're going to come in here, zoom in, we're going to take our measuring tool, and we are going to measure our angle. So we're just going to click this, grab down over here, and the bottom corner here it tells us we are 0.51 degrees from uh, vertical. So there we go. And we are going to rotate. Okay. 
So that should be vertical now. Let's remeasure. That's 13.3.13 off. Let's see what the site says. The site says the same thing. What about across it? Uh, let's see what this chip says. That chip is that chip is fine. So we're gonna just go with it. Let's see what we got on this one. Uh, top corner, bottom corner. That's fifty one as well. That's fifty. Okay, so let's rotate this one. rotated. Let's see how these two look on top of each other. So we are going to change this from normal to screen. Those look pretty aligned to me. Let's go to different just to see the difference. Sure as hell looks lined up to me. Okay, so we're gonna put that back to normal. And we're gonna put these next to each other. I'm gonna delete as close as I can to this. Okay, and we're gonna bring them as close together as can so they can basically meet. And now what we're going to do is we are going to paint some insides here. So what we're going to do is we'll take this. Ah, not what I want to do. Here. Oh, it's not that I want to select. I don't want to move. So we've selected that, and what we're going to do, well first let's clean up this area. So we want to just take our clone tool, and we're just going to click in here, and fill that in, and we'll fill that in as well. Okay, and now we want to select invert, and we want to paint the outside of this with more stuff. Uh, but we also don't want to in-paint on this one. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so now we can select invert. Uh, well, why didn't that stay selected? I guess we can negative in, negative invert select. Okay, there we go. So now we are going to paint on this. So let's just pick our area there. Let's just start painting. So we're just adding an edge to this PCB so that we can uh, make these an easy texture to play with. This is also probably overkill for what we're doing, but 
you know, it never hurts to show how the sausage is made. I mean, maybe it does, but I'm showing you how the sausage is made. I'm extending this green so that when we find an edge, it's going to be nice and easy to maintain the shape of our 3D model. Okay, and we're just going to use a little bit of healing power here. What we're going to do is we're going to merge these two layers together. So here comes our merge. What else? We make this brush smaller. Okay, and you know, I'm going to leave the bottoms of that object like they are. Um, so now we're going to take this, and we can actually trim this up a little bit more. So we got that, and we are going to select, and we're going to invert, we're going to delete. All right, we're going to name this layer transmitter. Okay, so we have a transmitter, and let's put you down this bottom corner. Okay, and the next thing we are going to work on is, uh, I guess we can probably do our transformer next. Okay, so let's take our transformer. We're going to zoom in. On this thing, it looks like this. Is, these are both at a skew, so let's measure our skew angle. Uh, 0.98. So let's rotate this. That is scale, not rotate. There we go. Rotate. So 0.91. 0.91 or 0.98? I think it's 0.98. That looks right. Okay, so we're going to rotate that. Okay, and now let's measure up uh, the top one. So let's see this corner and here. That's 0.49. Here we go. Up. Oh, not the right one. So what we're going to do, we're going to, yeah, we just have to pass this one. Does line up pretty well. And do we do top and bottom? We do bottom and top with that one. So let's do that on this one as well. We'll bring our opacity back up all the way. And let's trim our corner. And we're going to trim our side. Okay. That looks pretty good how it is, so I'm not really going to do anything. I'm just going to merge these two together. And we are going to square off our edges. So we're going to do an inverse select delete. So select, invert, delete. Looks pretty good. So let's bring our zoom out. And let's 
bring this texture down to maybe down here. Okay. And the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to get our microphone boards. So let's zoom in on those and let us straighten them out because these definitely are at a skew. So we're going to find ourselves a line that we can utilize to straighten that out. So this is 74 degrees, or 0.74 degrees, excuse me. So here we go, 0.74 in the wrong direction. So let's go negative 0.74. Okay. That is adjusted. And what is this one? This top one is 0.96, so let's rotate this. Okay, so those two look like they are good now. We're going to just change our opacity and drag it down just to confirm. Looks pretty good to me. Um, we are doing it where we have top and bottom, so I believe top is on the right and bottom is on the left. Yep. So let's bring the opacity back up on this. Okay. I'm going to trim the side. Okay. And these look like they're pretty well lined up. And let's just, uh, I'm not going to do much more on these. So what we are going to do is we're going to trim this one pretty close because we have some weird stuff going on the outside of this. So we're going to merge these two layers. And we are going to trim this, so we're going to select Invert Delete. And, you know, I might run a quick, um, no, we're just going to leave it. Again, this is, this is not the most intense project. We just want to make sure we have this for our prototype. So we're going to place this over here. This will be a much smaller texture map than I was expecting, but that is totally fine for what we are doing. So the next thing we are going to do is work on our amplifier. Our amplifier is totally askew. So let's, uh, let's measure this out. So, uh, and that is 1.64. So we're going to rotate that. So we have 1.64. Looks better. Uh, doesn't look like it's completely unskewed. So let's let's measure across our top here. It's 0 0.4, 0 0.04. So let's see what happens if we rotate this a bit more. We're going to rotate it by. That looks better. Okay, and let's see what this top one is. Let's measure across the bottom here. And that is 1.31. This could be negative 1.31, negative 1.31. Okay. That looks pretty good. Um, so we have to do our top and bottom again. We've been doing this. So we need to bring this up. Okay. And let's find our leading edge and delete. Okay. So now we're going to take these two together right here. It's 
pretty good. Let's zoom out on this. And what we are going to do is we're going to merge these together. So here comes our merge. And we're going to drag that over and let's taper our surroundings. Oh, they have some interesting stuff going on because of the depth. That's fine. Um, you know, actually, we can just delete that because we're not even going to take a look at that. We have that in our model. So we are going to select invert again and delete. Okay. And what we're going to do is zoom out. Let's bring this over to here. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is work on our receiver. So let's get that. And we are doing top and bottom. So bottom first. Let's put our bottom here. Um, so let's make sure we take this thing and set it so we have the right orientation. Uh, so I guess we can use this edge here. Measure this angle. That is 0.39, and let's see what this says down here. Actually, let's do it across up here. That says 0.78. Uh, so let's just do it on that one. Let's do 0.78. Let's see what happens. 0.78. That looks like it's too much. And what's 39 look like? That looks better. Okay, and let's grab this board and bring it down. And that should be above. <laughs> we'll say it's above board. <laughs> I got puns for days, people. There. Oh, we didn't straighten it first. We didn't straighten it first. Sorry. Uh, so we're going to take this and we have that. That says it's 0.13. This actually looks pretty, pretty like it's uh, already straightened. No, it needs to be negative 0.3. So that really didn't do much, but that's fine. So we're going to chop off this portion of a board. This. We're going to even out our top and bottom. Okay, and let us merge these two. And let's trim this up. Select invert again, as you could have guessed, and press delete. Okay. And it's looking like we have a good collection of stuff here. Let's just uh, let's try and reorient these things so they can fit more into a box shape. This is looking a little better in this configuration. Still have space that we could be utilizing, but this is fine. Let's 
Let's move our transformer a little bit. So um, one thing to, to note about this, if you were doing game design, um, for mobile especially, uh, you want to have as few what are called texture calls per uh, pass on your GPU. And the way you do that is you have basically one texture map that has a bunch of textures for a bunch of different objects. So this is one way that we could optimize our texture map if we were making it for a video game right now. We'd be having all of these textures for these different pieces inside of one file. So let's see, This uh, we just selected our our canvas here and what I'm going to do is I want to I want to crop to selection. Okay, so now how big is our canvas? Our canvas is okay. So we're going to call it ten. How, what does ten twenty four look like? Can I fit this in ten twenty four by ten twenty four? We're going to see if we can fit this in here. So we are now going to move this down. Ah, <sighs> it doesn't quite fit. I really don't want to. I guess I could scale it to fit in here. That was oh so close. I was liking keeping those one to one sizes. Um, so, what I am going to do though is I am going to just take this and fit it in here. And I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this down okay and let's take take our microphone we're gonna bring that down uh, Can okay. And let's get our transmitter. It's a transformer transmitter. Okay. So the only thing we need to actually do is scale this board by just a tinge. Like we could fit all this in here then. Okay, so they are all in here, and I really like using um, this standard size because GPUs have a really nice time rendering things that are. Uh, got a fun to my next call. I'll watch rest later. Keep on teaching, Professor. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so again, um, keeping it at 1024 makes it so that it's easy to. Uh, interpolate by um, or GPU or something else. So we're going to save this. So we, uh, we should probably save it and we also need to export it. So we're going to save it uh, into our folder for our PPEcom and let's create a new folder and we'll call this textures. And we're going to call this chips. And we're going to also export it as and we're going to export it as chips. Okay. There we go. So let's open up UCM Max again. And we need to get our material editor. Okay.
and might need to take a break in about 10 minutes for uh, dinner, but we'll be back later after that is over. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this little button for diffuse, and we are going to add, well, we need to add texture to it, so we're going to add bitmap. Uh, we are using a version of 3 Studio Max that uses Arnold to render, which I should have used a different version that has Maya built into it, because I am not a fan of Arnold. Okay, so here we go. And we should get a CR texture map, new image, there's our texture map. Okay. Don't know why I'm not seeing it on my map, probably because Arnold has changed a bunch of things. Maps, chip. I am rendering with the wrong viewer. Joy. Okay, um, so we are going to change this to an Arnold surface. And let's do standard surface and let's see if this changes it. Okay, um, so we need to go down to base model, bitmap, chip. There we go. So now we can see this in our material editor. Great. And let's drag this onto here. And this needs to have a UV map. Um, so actually, we're going to undo what we just did. So we're going to just assign all of these a standard texture. And we are going to group. And we are going to open. And we're going to select our PCB. And we're going to grab that and drag it on there. Um, but we also need to add a UV map to this. So we are going to go over here. We are going to do. UVW map, and we're going to add a box UVW map, and we should, should be in the operative word, see our map on our object. Why are we not seeing? map on an object. Autodesk, I really wish you would have left Mental Ray. Um, so we are going to go to our options. Um, let's see. Preferences, and let's see if we can figure out why our viewport is not showing us our texture. When I click render, what happens? Does it actually do anything? Okay, well, <laughs> we have a texture in our screen here, but we don't see it on our model, which is a pain in my butt. It really is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we can switch to our top view. Actually, what we need to do is we actually just need to edit our UVs. So we are going to go here, and we are going to do our unwrap UVs. And we need to 
edit this object. So we're selecting that as our top face. And we need our UV editor. Which, where did you move the button to? Open UV editor. See everything, and we're going to change this from checker pattern to chips. Okay, and we want to actually, uh, I'm going to take all of these things off the UV editor. We're going to move them out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to select our top face. Select our top face, and we want to take it, and we need to uh, break it. And this should be this one. So we're going to just scale this down. And bring this here. Then take this edge. Turn off snapping. There is snapping. Well, you know, the problem is I'm just being called to go have some dinner, so I'm going to leave that how it is. Um, <laughs> and I will be back after dinner, so put a pin in that. I'll be back. This is Lewis signing off. Check out Grip Reality and Baraku. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back after dinner to finish up this modeling and texturing. Peace out.